as we all know that water pollution has become one of the biggest issues of the 21st century. And among all the pollutants of water, the worst is oil. Every year, tons of oil from various sources are dumped into the various water bodies, which not only destroys our ecosystem, but makes the water unsuitable for any productive purposes. When I was 12 years old, one day while I was watching television, there on a very renowned news channel, for the first time in my life, I saw the harmful effects of water pollution caused by the oil effluents. And that was the moment when I realized that something should must be done to prevent this water pollution. So I was looking for some very easy and inexpensive ways for removing the oil from water. What happened is that one day as I was recollecting my childhood memories, then all of a sudden I recall that when I was a child, my mother used to put oil in my hair. And I absolutely disliked it because the oil used to get stick to my hair and it was a very irritating experience. <laughs> then all of a sudden, something struck my mind that why on earth did the oil get stick to my hair? Therefore, human hair must have some kind of property because of which oil gets stick to it. So what I did, I got a beaker from my school laboratory. As you can see, I have poured water here in this beaker. And then I added some oil. As you can see, everyone, the oil effluence has formed a layer over the water surface. Now, I'm going to add some waste human hair in this beaker. And we'll see what happens after some time. Now, moving on. One day, when I was surfing through the internet, then I came across a newspaper article which stated that during the Gulf War, there was an accidental oil tanker spillage in southern Kuwait because of which tons of oil was spilled over the Persian Gulf, which led to the deaths of thousands and thousands of migratory birds that visit the Persian Gulf every year because the oil was stuck to their feathers, which rendered them unable to fly and eventually led to their death. Another thing struck my mind. Why the oil got stuck to their feathers? Therefore, bird feathers should have some kind of property because of which oil gets stick to it. So, I repeated the same experiment, poured some water, poured some oil. Once again, the oil has formed a layer over the water surface. Now, I'm going to add some bird feathers. Now, once again, we'll see what happens after some time. Moving on, one day, a carpenter in my house accidentally spilled some oil on the floor. And then he removed the oil by using some sawdust. When I observed the sawdust carefully, I saw that the oil was stuck to its surface. So I got the idea that even sawdust should have some kind of property because of which the oil gets stick to it. So I repeated the same experiment. I poured some oil. And now I'll put some sawdust in it. Now I'm going to remove all these ingredients one by one. Let's move on to our first ingredient that is waste human hair. <laughs> As you can see everyone, majority of the oil effluents are removed in the very first attempt itself. Moving on to our second ingredient, that is bird feathers. Once again, as you can see everyone, majority of the oil effluents are removed in the very first attempt itself. Moving on to our final ingredient, that is sawdust. Once again, everyone, majority of the oil effluents are removed in the very first attempt itself. So in this way, I found three ingredients for cleaning the oil effluents from water. 
So my process involves cleaning one waste with another waste. Because all these three ingredients which I have used, like bird feathers, sawdust, and waste human hair, are all waste themselves. So it is a very easy, simple, inexpensive, and hassle-free way for cleaning the oil effluents from water. Now I'm planning to give this idea the shape of technology by creating a machine that is going to use these three ingredients for not only removing the oil from water, but that same machine is going to soak the oil from the residue that is being left out over here to retrieve the oil and hence make the oil reusable once again. <laughs> and I plan to work more on environment and pollution as I want to save this environment where we all live in. Thank you very much. <laughs> Stay up here just a minute. Um, while we're uh, uh, sort of taking this down for the next speaker to come up on the stage, I was just wondering if you could tell us a little bit more about your vision for this and sort of your plan to take it forward. What happens in various industries is that they discharge this harmful oil effluence in the water, in various water bodies, without actually any proper kind of treatment because there is a lack of proper technology in various third world countries and in various developing nations. So what my process is gonna do is that we need a huge settling tank where we are going to gather or collect the water which will contain all this oil effluence and we can apply these three ingredients and once the oil is totally removed, it can dis be discharged to various water bodies. And my vision is to make this world a pollution free world. Thank you very much. Fantastic. Thank you, Nicholas.